Okay, guys. Welcome, everyone, to our team call. Uh, tonight, we have a special guest with us, another special guest, um, Ashley, or Alicia Rose. Um, she is an elite coach. She's a five-star coach. She has been a premier coach in 2014. Um, she's a Success Club 10 legend and uh, I think 60 months in Success Club and she's a six-figure earner. So uh, um, if you are in our Push to Diamond group, um, Alicia is one of the leaders in there, so you might have seen a couple of her videos. Um, and I asked her to come talk about uh, one of her specialties and she has, um, you know, she's very good at uh, getting most of her customers and coaches from, you know, through Facebook and through Facebook advertising. And she has a whole process for getting them started and getting them on board. So I just asked her to come talk about that and tell, tell us her story and, um, you know, anything else she wants to share with us. So Alicia, if you want to take it away. Sure. Thanks. Um, well, first off, like this year has been just so crazy nuts already. And when Greg asked me to speak on the call, I was like, uh, I don't know what my specialty is. I just do the three vitals and that's basically it. And you hear all the time from all these top coaches saying, you know, they just do the three vitals and that's basically all we do, but we might do it in one certain area and just really focusing on that area. And for me, it's my fan page and Facebook and just really targeting on those customers that like it and comment on things on there. So, you know, when I first started as a coach, it was completely different how we marketed on Facebook. And there was no such thing as Facebook jail, thank goodness, because I would go onto the Insanity Facebook page, see who liked that page, and I would literally message every single person who ever liked that page. I probably did like thousands and thousands of emails. But like looking back, I see how salesy they were and how gross they were. And I don't know why anybody ever responded to me. Um, but it just definitely was a huge learning moment coming now back. And I see some of those people actually seeing the messages, the way that Facebook put all the messages into people's message request folders. So um, I'm going to show you all. Let me see if I can share the screen. I can. Woo. Um, so I'm going to do like a little show you how I really do all of my leads and how I find people on Facebook and um, get it all together. So I'll just share my desktop. So, so I'm going to show you how to really create customers and coaches using Facebook applications. Um, and some of the things, let's see here, that I'm going to go over. If it wants to load, come on back. It wants to be slow. Maybe it's because I'm on Zoom. So uh, some of the things, you know, I'm going to go over is, you know, how do you really use applications? What are the, some of the questions that you want to put into an application? Um, what systems I use and how to create the application? How you post it? Because you don't want to just like post it up there and not have anybody click on it. You want them to click on it. You want them to see that link so that way they know, hey, click on this link and then they'll fill out an application. And I actually did an application or a Facebook ad this afternoon for Pio, and I'll show you that one and exactly how I do the whole process through it all. Um, and also, you know, what you do when someone fills out an application because you want to be contacting these people almost right away. So there is a system to where you can automatically con send them a message, and I'll show you that. And then what you say in the follow-up and how you keep track of all these people. So, where's my mouse? There it is. All right, so let's see here. The first one I'm going to show you. Let me see if it's on here. So this is just one example of how I use applications. So this is for Hammer and Chisel. I mean, 22 Minute Hardcore. Um, and before and after photos, if you really notice on your Facebook page what gets a lot of hits, 
use that during your high traffic times. So you want to kind of notice when people are on Facebook. For me, I notice a lot of people are on between 9 a.m. when they get to work and they don't want to work, so they're on their phone on their Facebook. And then right about 4 to 5 p.m. where they're like clock watching, waiting to get off work. <laughs> you know, they're all on their phones. So those are my times that a lot of people are on Facebook as well as late at night, right around like between 9 and 11 p.m. Um, you know, all us moms put our kids to bed. We finally have our wine watching our bachelor. And that's when we're surfing through Facebook. So I'm going to be making sure that I'm posting my call to action posts during those times so I know that people are seeing them. Um, so this one is just one of them. You know, it just, for me, it definitely, you know, it speaks me. And you want to make sure that when you're talking in your posts, you don't want to sound too salesy, but you also want to speak how you speak. So that way they can get you and the flow of you. Um, you don't want to copy anybody else's posts. Definitely make it your own. And um, that way people can know it's truly you. Because people can tell when you copy a post, especially if it's a really great one. I see some, like uh, Morgan Alexis does amazing posts on Facebook and I just want to copy them so bad because they're so good, but I really try not to. I try to make them my own. Um, so for me, you know, it's really, you know, do you love boot camp classes? I try to think of, you know, who my market is going to be. Who am I trying to target? For me, I love boot camp. I love insanity. I'm in uh, the Army Reserves, so I know what basic training is like and I really love getting my getting yelled at and getting my butt kicked. So that's kind of like my target market for the 22 minute hardcore. I know that's going to be the type of people who are going to want this program. Um, so, but being able to do it at home is definitely a huge plus as well as short time because a lot of the people on my page are moms and 22 minutes a day. Definitely. We all have 22 minutes or we try to have 22 minutes when kids are napping or in between chores or whatever. So I also want them to know, you know, what they're getting out of the program as I have in there. Um, when you're doing your applications, I do it in two different spots. I do it at the very bottom, but I also do it towards the top. So that way, when the post is there, because you, whenever you see the post, it kind of has like the see more, that that application is going to be above the see more. So that way they are seeing the link that's above it. And then if they end up clicking, you know, to see more, then they have the link, the application below as well. And I do that, you'll see here in a second, I do that for pretty much everything when I do applications. So these are two examples of my Facebook ads that I do. One of them will go on to the right. Um, and that one's my coaching ad and this one, I just restarted it. Um, but it's one that I've been running for like a year and I get a ton of applications off of it. And it really just one of those things for one, you want to be able to speak to your market. And I had to add in there, you know, with my husband and my marriage, because I was getting a lot of broke single moms, which I don't, my market is moms, but I also didn't want to market to single moms because they weren't my market. I have no idea about a single mom. I'm a married mom. So if you come to me complaining about, you know, being a single mom, I just have no idea. So I wanted to be more narrowed in on my market. Um, and, and, you know, really talking about coaching. So there again, I have the two different links, um, at the top and also at the bottom and asking questions as well. The Pio one, because that's on sale this month, whoop, whoop, um, that one, so for that Facebook ad, you know, and when you're doing these ads as well, you want to market towards your target market. You want to market towards people who are going to be, you know, part of your group, people that you want on your team, people that you want to help and or maybe somebody that you know will really benefit from that program so for this one um i saw christine dwyer do a lot of ads on um with her and then the white background and of the 
program. So I was like, oh, that's perfect. I can do that because Facebook's so picky and I have a really hard time finding pictures. So I decided, I was like, I'll just do what Christine Dwyer does because do what successful coaches do, right? So this one's pretty simple. Just yoga and Pilates inspired moves in the comfort of your home. And then the link for the application. But also at the very bottom, it says apply now. So they can click there to also apply and they'll get the application as well. So let me go. Does anybody have any questions so far? If you do, just put them into the chat section. I'm sure Greg can let me know. So I am going to show you if my thing would ever stop scrolling. Uh, come on. Escape. Okay. So I'm going to show you exactly how I create my forms, and I do it through Google Drive. And it's so stupid simple. You can also use Wufu, but Woof also has a limited amount of forms that you can use before you have to pay. And Google Drive, the Google Forms in there, completely free. Um, so you just go under New, More, and Google Forms, and that's it. Hey, Alicia, people want to know how you got the Apply More button. That's one of your options in the ads. So when you create an ad, it's going to be one of your options. There's a Sign Up button. There's a Learn More, um, Apply Now. Uh, I think there's a watch. There's a bunch of different buttons in there that you can choose. So it's when you are uploading your photo and then you're putting in the headline and the text and then it's right underneath that. So it's pretty cool. It gives you kind of the options. And what I do is for the website, I don't put my own personal website in. I put the application form link. I put it in there in the website section. So when it looks like it, when it's blank, so when you click on Google Forms, simple. This is the newer version of Google Forms, which I'm kind of in, I kind of like the older version better, but just, it's very clean, very easy. You click on the plus sign, you can, multiple choice, you can do check, check boxes, answers, paragraphs. You can do so many different things in here. Um, you can insert pictures and all that stuff. So. I will show you my Pio one. So this is my Pio application. All I did was take the description of Pio and I put it at the top. So that way they kind of knew what they were getting within that program. And when they're clicking on the application, they kind of already know these are all the things that you're buying and this is what you're getting into. Because there's nothing worse than when you have an application there or you have a free group out there or a challenge group whatever you know and you're getting people who are like well is it free and you're like uh, no and then you have to like try to like you know dance around it of okay well how do I tell them it's not free you know so this kind of gives them that option of figuring out it's not free <laughs> so I put a picture in there as well to kind of you know everybody loves pictures make it pretty First name, you always want to ask a few different questions when you are doing these applications. Um, and I actually got a lot of these questions too um, from Lindsay Matway. So, you know, don't be afraid to take what other coaches are doing and their questions that they're doing and make it your own and put them into something else. Um, so, there. So, uh, Alicia, do you require yeah. Shakeology? Because, I mean, it's not in your picture or in your description. I do. I have it, um, 30 days of Shakeology right here. Oh, okay. So I do require Shakeology for everything. Um, just because, I mean, I think as a, you know, a coach from way back in 2010, uh, we didn't have challenge packs. So all we sold was Shakeology so that, and I know the importance of the nutrition aspect and how big that can help your results when you don't have that Shakeology. Because when I first started, I did Insanity one round. I lost like five pounds. Once I incorporated Shakeology, I knew how amazing I felt with it, and I lost 15 pounds in that second round. So I knew that the differences between you know not using it and using it was were huge. That I want all my customers to get Shakeology as well. That should be a no-brainer. Plus, it's on sale 
this month in a challenge pack and you're getting so much like guys, these challenge packs are amazing, especially with the on demand that alone, I think makes challenge packs worth it. And so freaking crazy because um, when we first started, we only had Shakeology really to sell and make success club. So to be able to offer a customer all of these tools in one little cool package and it's cheap, um, it's just no brainer. So any other questions? <laughs> Good. No, that's it. Okay, cool. Um, so you're going to ask them their first name and last name and then their email address because you want to be able to contact them. I give them a few different options when they're in here just because some people, they put their mailing address in for email address. And I don't know the rest of their mailing address. They'll put like the street name and the number. And I'm like, what? So that's why, you know, even Facebook URL, if most people don't know what their Facebook profile URL is. So, you know, you want to make sure you're telling them how to find it or just send me a friend request. Simple. Then you're done. Um, their phone number, because you're going to want to text them later on. And then you're really getting into the goals. So what are their fitness goals? And I leave it as a long answer text, so that way they can write as much as they want. And then what they struggle with, because I truly want to know how I can best help that person, but also best formulate my response back to them um, with what their struggles are. Um, so that way I can connect with them on a deeper level and kind of figure out how I can help them best. One of the most important questions, are you currently working with a coach? We all have integrity and we want to make sure that these customers are, or potential customers are not working with another coach already. Because for one, you don't want to waste your time with somebody who's already working with a coach, as well as you don't want to steal somebody who is already working with a coach. So it's just going to be saving your time and um, you know, making sure that you're working with people who do want to order from you. Because there's nothing worse than somebody's like, oh, I have a coach already, after you go through the whole process. You know? So I always ask, are you currently working with a coach? And if they say yes, I'm just going to message them and say, hey, you know, I saw that you're currently working with a coach and you filled out my application for Pio. You know, I highly recommend you go back to your coach. And I'm sure they're running a group um, for that program as well. So just make sure you contact them and I'm sure that they have something for you. Um, so always refer back to their coach. And then the second most important question ever is, are you open to learning how to create an income from your fitness results? So this is a great opener to the business opportunity. So now once you have all of their goals, you're talking with them, you have their fitness goals and what they're struggling with, then as the conversation kind of stalls a little bit, because we all know those conversations, you're like, okay, what do I say next? That's when you say, hey, you know, I saw you had clicked yes on learning more about the income opportunity. I actually have a whatever, maybe a live webinar or a sneak peek or open house or whatever you want to call it, or maybe a webinar. Um, you know, I have a video. You about the opportunity, would you like to learn more about what I do as a coach and how you can earn an income with your results? So once you actually have all of this together for your application, there's another section on here. Um, let me move this little thing over here. And it's called add-ons. So you go to your form no notifications, and it's this little puzzle piece. This is the coolest part. So you can configure your notifications. So here I have where they're going to notify, or I'm going to get notified, every five responses that fill out this application. But I'm also going to notify the respondent. So as soon as they fill out this application, um, they're going to get an email. And it's going to say whatever you want to them. Um, I try to make sure that um, they know to look out for another email from me and also to come find me on Facebook. So just says, thank you for responding to our form. I will get back to you within 48 hours. So make sure to check your email. Look forward to getting to know you and your goals. And then I should probably put in there. 
P.S. Make sure to find me on Facebook. And then put your Facebook link in there. And I just do my personal profile and then you save. So that way it's just another way for them to find you, but they're also getting a notification right away um, stating, hey, I'm gonna get another email here pretty soon. And I always say like, you know, 48 hours, you could do 72 hours. It just depends on how often you're gonna go into these applications. For me, they get another email within 24 hours almost all the time, because that's one of my first tasks daily um, when I'm doing my business invites is following up with my applications. So every day I go into the new applications and I will follow up with the new people. Um, okay, so the form notifications, that's all free. It's another awesome plugin with Google Drive. And I think you might have to do add-ons. So there's another, is here I forget where it's at but there's also it might be up here in, in the add-on part um, to where you actually plug it into there so you might actually have to go into there and do it all right so that is the application part so once they fill it out so I have this response here um, what I do you can view response and sheet, or you can um, download all the responses into an Excel spreadsheet. I put all of my responses for every application I ever use into one Excel spreadsheet, and it puts it in tabs at the bottom, and it's all saved in Google Drive. So I know I've got it anywhere I go, I have all the information I need. So once I go to the application, here, um, it ends up like this. So I have all of her information um, for this girl, Krista, so I don't steal her because I just got her. Nobody steal her information. Um, and it has everything in there, her email address, her Facebook URL, which she's so smart, she actually did it. Uh, phone number, she wants to be healthy, feel healthy. Her, she struggles with consistency. She's not working with a coach, and she does want to learn about the income opportunities. Gore. So this is like the perfect person, right? Like she just wants to be healthy and feel healthy. We all struggle with consistency and she wants to learn about some making some money. That's pretty awesome to me. So this is all your Excel spreadsheet. So I have a couple of different ones in here as well. So I have a whole bunch of different applications and you can do it by put little colors on the bottom just to make it more noticeable um, and what I do is as I am going through like this is another ad I did for a summer slim down and I will go through I will try to find them on Facebook by email address first and then I'll try to find them by phone number so you just copy the phone number paste it into the search bar in Facebook and try to find them and then send them a friend request that way um, this little green bar here, I just use it for my own knowledge of the last person that I left off with. And um, I think that's it. So how do I keep track of all of these people? Because even with, I did one for size when it first came out. And that one, guys, like was off the chart. I had 398 people fill that one out. And so there's no possible way for me, for my brain, to even comprehend how to, you know, stay organized because I'm not an organized person whatsoever, but I'm organized with lists. If you give me a list, pen and paper, I'm fantastic with that. If you tell me to go into a system and try to find somebody's name and I'm like, I have no idea, I, I couldn't do it. So I put everybody into streak. And if you don't know what streak is, I'm about to show you because it's amazing. So Brooke Lipoff actually has a few videos on how to use this for your business on YouTube. Amazing videos, love it. She breaks it down so simple. Um, so what I do is I plug them all in here. So when I have somebody who fills out an application, um, I'll have to create a snippet. So 
I'll go into compose. I will create a little uh, email to somebody. And um, let's say with the Pio one. And then you would have little snippets. So a snippet is basically a email that's already pre-templated. You have it there and you can just click it and go and it kind of pre-fills out an email for you. That way you don't have to copy and paste. I use this for everything, for my new coaches, for my new customer welcomes, um, everything. It's just so super simple. So um, if I go in, I can, let's see here. Let's say the what's in the package. So this one's just for size. So when I'm creating somebody and I put their email address in here, and I put in the subject and I'm ready to plug them into my system, I'll add to box. And so you just create, I'll just put test box. And you create a new box and I wanna put it in my prospects and applications. So I have it separated by my coaches, by my invites and my customers that I get through Facebook, um, people that kind of I'm already working with as prospects. Then I have my customers in my online office people who are on Shakeology and my prospects that fill out my applications. So I'll put them in my applications and then bam, this little box here pops up on the side. And guys, this part is so amazing because anytime I email this person now, this box is going to pop up on the side so I can change where they're at within the flow chart. So I know where to follow up with them next. I can put in notes about what I'm talking to them about. This email will actually get saved into their box as well. So I can see all the different emails I've sent the person. Um, I can see what product they're interested in. You can, put, you can actually change all of these sections on the side to whatever you want. Um, but And then if they're interested in coaching, I always click that one if they say yes in that box because then you can filter as well and then the application that they filled out, and if they're a Facebook friend yet. So that is one way, let's see here. So once I have them in my applications, let's say like, okay, so I just emailed them, and what's really cool is that you can just kind of like, like Lindsay Chapman, she's been in this stage for only two days, she did the summer slim down, She's interested in coaching. I sent her an email right here. So that email's in there. Um, and then today I went through actually and sent them, well, I tried to find them all on Facebook and send them another message again um, to see if they're interested or if they even got my email. Um, and, then, um, and then I just put the notes in here. So I know I sent her a message today. So... Um, you could put like whatever date today is, 3-2 or something like that. Uh, sent friend on Facebook and message. So it kind of gives you an idea of how to follow up next with the person. And I can actually go to here to task reminder and say, hey, you know, I need to follow up on Monday at 8 a.m and it'll follow up for me, which is pretty cool. So when I'm doing my prospects and applications, I keep it so I'm organized. So I already know the people that I need to follow up with every single day. I know people I've sent videos to, people I've added to the, my open house, because we do ours monthly, I'm not sure about you guys, but for our team, we do them every month, and then I always go back to those same people that I've invited to the open house or added to the open house and I'll keep inviting them until they sign up as a coach or until they tell me, go away, you crazy lady, <laughs> because they, hey, some might. But I just want to give them that opportunity to really check it out because you know some people don't um, have the time to check out your open house on Facebook and they, maybe they missed something and they'd like to check out. Again, I've had some people be in like four or five times and then, then they finally sign up as a coach. So 
you never know what people are thinking um, when they're doing that. So when I'm sending um, from the applications and they're filling it out and I'm putting them into the streak, and now, okay, so you send out your initial message, something like, because I'm very like, okay, well, what the heck do you say to these people? Um, you know, I'll just say something like, hey, Faith, you know, thank you for filling out my PIO application. I'm so excited to get started. Um, you know, I noticed that you wanted to tone up and get healthy and fit. That's totally doable. Um, but I did notice you struggle with the consistency. You know, what stops you? from being consistent? What holds you back? Ask them questions, because the more that you ask them questions, the more that they're gonna respond and always end with a question. Just like on Facebook, it's almost the same exact thing. It, they end with a question. There's a really great plugin. It's called, um, I think it's called Not Sorry. It is um, Just Not Sorry. So this plugin is pretty awesome because you plug it into your Gmail and it'll actually underline things within your email that um, diminish your voice within your message. So I use this for my coaches as well because I don't want to sound like I'm begging them. I don't want to sound like I'm, you know, trying to be like, please, <laughs> like get active now <laughs> so uh it's a great plugin for gmail it's called just not sorry um but it's something i definitely love to use and it catches a lot of my words that i might use i want to switch up a little bit um so when i'm sending them that email i'm like okay great like got it they got the email another cool thing about streak is that it tells you when they see the email so I can actually go into my sent mail and I, this little green eye right here tells me they saw the email. So, and I actually get a little pop up in the top of my screen as well. It says, so-and-so has seen this email. So that's a really cool feature as well. So once I have a bunch of people in there, so let's say, come on. Let's say I have like, oh, let's see here, my summer slim down. So I can go here, click that box, and I can do a mail merge. I can send everybody who clicked on that uh, application a mail merge, maybe saying something like, hey, last call. I know you were interested in the summer slim down group and we're getting ready to get started. I'm so excited. Always make sure that you're really excited to get started and that you are, are wanting them to join, but they're, it's starting soon, so they need to take action. Always have that sense of urgency. So you send that mass email merge and it's automatically I'm gonna send it to every single one individually. It won't do it in a group message. You do have that option but it sends them all individually, which is really cool. So that is the mail merge part. Uh, cool. Amber Woods wants to know if you had to enter every one in individually, or can you import them somehow? You can import by um, Excel. So if you just put them into an Excel spreadsheet, um, I want to say right here more, you can import boxes from Excel. Now the only thing is when you're importing, you want to make sure that um, all these right here, your name, the stage notes, days and stage, product interested, those are your titles at the top of your Excel spreadsheet. Otherwise it's not going to match up. So you want to make sure whatever you want at the top here also matches the top of your Excel spreadsheet before you import it. So Definitely you can and it saves you so much time. I did it for the online office and I actually have to do it again because I did it where it has first name and last name in two different boxes and I can't, drives me bonkers. Um, so I got to merge the two boxes together somehow. But um, it definitely saves you so much time. It's, you know, I can go in here and really just send every single person a message. So. 
if I want to do, let's say, prospects and applications, and any from the open house that's coming up, I can filter and I can choose interest coaching is checked and apply. So now I have every single person who's ever filled out an application that's interested in coaching. So now I can send them all a mail merge and tell them about my open house coming up or um, the next um, group that I have coming up as well. So streak is definitely one of those things that like works with my brain so well. Um, and you don't have to worry about like finding all the tags and finding people individually like an Asana or, you know, going through all your papers and you're like, crap, where is that person? I knew I talked to somebody. So I've done it before too in Facebook. I'm like, I know I talked to somebody yesterday. Who was it? You know, so this kind of gives you that option of being able to message everybody and making sure that nobody gets left behind. Um, was there any other questions, Greg? Um, let's see. Do you use this rather than using an email program like MailChimp? I'm assuming the answer is yes. <laughs> yes. I have a constant contact account. Um, I use it for my big newsletters. So I'll do one newsletter once a month to everybody. Um, the only thing with mail merge is you can only do like 500 a day. So you have to split it up sometimes. Um, especially with, you know, customers in my online office, I'd have to do it, split it up within like three or four days. So for this, I will use more for like my, the online office customers. I'll use it more for keeping track of them and what's going on with them. And then in constant contact, then I'll message them that way. Um, and I like constant contact because I can see when they click on a link and how many times they click on a link. And um, so that always helps me too because then I can message them when they click on something. Um, and this is also a great way too to keep track of your coaches. I keep track of all of my coaches in here, what rank they are, their goals, their, if I send them gifts, you know, how many months they made success club. Like, I mean, it's, Amazing, especially when you have coaches going through groups and they put in their why and their goal and you just copy and paste it right into their notes. Uh, that's what I do. So you don't even have to be sneaky about it. You're like, but you said when you come back to your why and, um, you know, when they have their 2016 goals, uh, I just had a girl the other day. She's, you know, was falling off track. I'm like, look, this is what you said, what your goals are for this year. What do you need to reach it? And, you know, how far, um, do you want to change your goals from what you originally said? So that's just one other option too for really doing all these. So um, I'm trying to think of what else. I mean, for the most part too, all this really is, is just follow up. I think our fourth vital behavior should be following up. You definitely want to follow up with people, not just once. It takes six to eight conversations with somebody for them to make a decision. And when I first heard that, I was like, well, crap. I was like, dang, I got to talk to a lot of people a lot of times for them to make a decision. But you know, a lot of people don't really think on the very first decision or very first conversation that you have with them, like, yeah, I want to do this. Let's go. Very few people will. I know for me, for the coach opportunity, I thought it was a scam the first conversation. And it took me two weeks to sign up as a coach, but it seemed really like two months. I swear, I thought it was two months. I go back to our email conversations. I'm like, it's only two weeks. Like it seemed like eternity before the time I started talking to my coach, Jessica, and the time that she signed me up. But you want to continue to follow up with these people. And I do have another one, um, a script. Where did my PowerPoint go? And there's a really awesome script in here that um, I had gotten from. At go least ahead. one question. So the mm -hmm. if you email somebody, like you have somebody, like a whole bunch there that are in the 27 days, right, that you emailed them, do you mm -hmm. ever go back and email them again? Or do you just leave them in that email state? No, I'll go back and I'll email them again. I tend to try to go through 
and I'll email everybody at least once a month. They'll get an email from me, whether it's about an upcoming group, just checking in, how are you doing? Um, you know, I know you're wanting to reach your goals of blah, 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 you know, so but do I'll you go back and even if they're in the application that they filled out, you know, they, they wanted to do size, yeah. for example. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I'll go back and I'll, especially now that Hio is on sale or when size was on sale, because I've had all those size applications for the longest time. Um, so I went through and like, hey, size is on sale this month, you know, just following up with you, you know, to make sure that you still are good to go. You don't want to start. Do you want to start? So I do continue to message them, even though I have them in the email section, um, until they tell me no. And then I put them in a no section. So I actually have in there where it says no. Um, that way I know that they're not ready right now. And I can always just find them on Facebook or just kind of message them a couple months from say, hey, just checking in, see how you're doing. You know, that's it. Do you know what? And what the perfect thing too is when people tell you no, you know, ask for the referrals. Like, hey, that's fine. You know, if you're not interested, that's cool. Um, but do you know anybody who would be interested in a program like this? Or do you know anybody who would like to earn an income while building their fitness dreams or, you know, fitness goals or whatever? Well, you're lucky. Only three people told you no. I get told no much more than that. Well, when they ignore me, that's not a no. <laughs> I get a lot of ignores. <laughs> so if they're going to, I'm going to keep talking to them, you know, until they tell me, I really don't get a lot of people that tell me no. They either ignore me or they order something. Um, and that's, or they just draw out the conversation until they're like, oh, I'm not sure yet. So then it's just a bunch of follow-ups. Um, so this follow-up here is kind of like your final follow-up. Um, I got this one from Krista Donovan, who in February, as she signed up 47 coaches in February. Last week, you probably heard her on the national wake-up call with um, being the top everything. <laughs> it was crazy. But she also talk to over 2000 people in the month of February. So that's like two out of every hundred people she talked to signed up as a coach. So it's all about those numbers and all about getting in front of as many people as possible. She also has an ad going as well that she's been running since beginning of last year. It's kind of the same, almost the same exact ad as I have um, that I showed you with the working from home, the mom one. Um, but this is her follow-up. It's just, hey, girly, just take them back with you one more time. Are you still interested in becoming a coach on my team, a.k.a. getting in amazing shape and creating financial freedom? If your plans have changed, that's okay. No hard feelings. Just let me know so I don't bug you with messages. Perfect message. I actually sent this to about 10 people this morning, and I had three people who messaged back. One is like, I was a coach before, but it didn't work for me. And then, you know, you're like, well, why didn't it work for you? You know, you want to kind of like dig in a little bit. Okay, well, what happened in there? What don't you think that didn't work? <laughs> um, you know, and then I got some people who are like, oh, yeah, you know, I've been meaning to message you or, um, you know, I'm not ready right now, but I will be on such, such a date. Um, so definitely making sure that you're following up, but also giving them that option kind of as an out to say, yes or no, because some people might not be comfortable in telling you no, um, and I'm just too nice to be told no, I guess. So, <laughs> you know, just making sure that you are giving that, those follow-ups and putting those people on your list and constantly contacting them, making sure that you're finding them on Facebook. Um, another thing I send is text messages. So once I put them in there, I've emailed them, try to find them on Facebook, it's been like a day or two and I haven't heard back from them really. I will send them a text message just saying, hey, this is Alicia from Facebook. You've filled out my application on whatever. Did you get my email? And I'll just leave it at that. And some will message back, some won't. Um, and I just kind of, you know, put them in the notes and then follow up, set that follow-up date. 
Another really cool application, I'll just go over really quickly, um, is if you don't have like a calendar system, what works really well with Streak is um, Sunrise. It's called Sunrise Calendar. I use it for my um, coaches when they want to schedule a call with me. I use it for everything. I schedule pretty much everything. So I have all my kids' activities and all of that stuff in there as well. But Streak also goes in here as well. So whenever you do a reminder in Streak, it pops into your calendar so it can tell you at what time you are going to um, be following up with people. Um, and you can uncheck it and all that good stuff. So my you know, days, I always make sure I have my days filled with business time, with my own business, because it's so easy to get caught up and just coach leading stuff and just leading your team and doing recognition. And I could do this like recognitions and calls. I could do this all day long and talking to coaches and checking my downline a million and one times in a day to see if it's updated for volume, especially today because it's been crazy with volume. So, you know, it's one of those things where you have to make sure that you're scheduling those times for yourself to build your business and times for, you know, when you're doing your coach leading stuff. So, you know, it's an awesome tool. It syncs on your phone, syncs on your iPad, your Mac, the Android, Apple. It's perfect. So, and it sends you notifications like 15 minutes beforehand, which is really awesome. So that's called Sunrise. Um, and I think that's everything. Is there any other questions, Greg? Um, not in I know the, that was like, but maybe if people want to take themselves off mute, they can ask a question. Hey, um, yeah, this is Amber. I asked about the um, downloading from mm -hmm. Excel. So your all your tabs at the bottom that have all of your applications that you've done. When you make yeah. the form and they fill it out, it automatically goes to the right tab. Yes. So okay. each one is its own form. So I can go up here to this form and I can go to the live form or edit the form or whatever. So that'll tell me which exact form it is. Okay. So this one was for my size test group that I did way back when size first came out. So it's the same things. I add the money part in there too, but I honestly didn't like that one. So I just took it out. Um, and for size, I also asked, have you ever used hip hop abs or rock and body before? But yeah, it, it automatically adds them. So when you're putting them into this one um, Excel spreadsheet, it'll create a whole new tab for each form. And then I just go in there and I rename the tab to whatever jogs my memory of what it's for. Okay. Um, and so when you move them over to streak, does all of your stuff at the top, and it, it aligns with what you have on the spreadsheet or not? Because you said everything has to align. No, right. well, for me, oh, right. yeah, for this one, for this actual part here, I will individually put them in um, each one by one because as they're filling it out, I will send them a message. So um, let's say for the Pio one, I will actually go in here and send Krista a message. So I will go into my mail I'll send, I'll do a compose, put her email in there, send a message. And since it's the first one for Pio, I'll create a template email for Pio um, forms. And then I'll add her into a box. So that way she automatically goes in there. So I basically do everything straight from this O's email when I'm into streak. Does that make sense? Yes. Did I lose you? No, I'm just, okay. I used it before for a little bit, but I think mm -hmm. a lot of people it gets overwhelming. Um, but it, um, it may be just because you don't know everything about it, but, um, you know, yeah, it definitely can be. So it's just a little. 
Yeah, it is a lot when you're trying to upload everything all at once. Mm -hmm. I mean, my customers in my online office, I mean, I've got a crap ton in there, you know, but those ones I actually uploaded um, by Excel spreadsheet. So mm -hmm. I just downloaded them from the online office and then uploaded into his Excel spreadsheet. But when they're in the process, or in the applications they're only coming in at like one or two maybe three a day mm -hmm. so that way I can easily go in and manually put them in into here and it depends too on ads too if I'm running like a high ad if I'm doing like ten plus dollars a day I will get you know a ton of people in there and then if I decrease it because I decrease mine on the weekends or I pause them on the weekends just because I don't have a ton of traffic on the weekends. Um, so I'll pause it and I just won't get as much. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So Alicia, how did you, did you do ads like when you were a new coach and like, did you ramp up over time or what would you, what advice would you give to people that are new coaches who don't have a lot of money to spend? Um, because Facebook was so different when I first started, I didn't do ads. I just spammed everybody <laughs> that I could think of. And that's definitely not how you want to run a business now. Um, Facebook groups is one way. Um, but also just messaging your new likes, even, um, paying for likes on a fan page. I normally tell my coaches once they've reached a certain level on their personal page, they kind of max out their, you know, finding people in groups that are maxed out and really, you know, they've got a ton of friends, they have a ton of followers and they're just ready for that next level. Then that's when to open up a fan page and then start putting in maybe like five bucks a week into paying for likes, even just doing a couple bucks every few days, you know, maybe doing $3 for like a day or two and then turning it off is totally a possibility and getting some new blood and new people that are like you into your target market onto your page. So once I'm, you know, paying for likes, I message every single person um, who likes my page. Every single person gets a email from me, a little message, might go to the other folder or their message request folder or whatever. They'll eventually see it. Um, but I've also gotten a lot of great responses from it as well. And it's just something like, you know, Hey, thanks for liking my page, Alicia Rose Fitness. Make sure to come back and like and comment often. I do, um, a Shakeology giveaway every Thursday and, um, you know, just make sure to like and comment for a chance to win a free sample of Shakeology every Thursday. Uh, so that kind of like, okay, now they got to come back and like and comment and do the organic interaction with it as well. Um, but there's so many different options on fan pages to where to build it. Um, I also did like the, it's not really, you shouldn't really do it, but I did the ladders, which is you go on to like these Facebook groups and they have like a Thursday day ladder. So you put your fitness page on there and then everybody just goes and likes everybody's pages. So that way you're kind of building up your page to be like have more likes, I guess. Um, that's kind of how I started it because I needed likes in order to create an ad. Um, so I did that at first, but I created a lot of great connections with other businesses. I mean, that was a good plus out of it, I guess. But then you have like all these other people's ad or like pages and you're like, Oh, I'm not quite sure about this. And then I felt bad because I wasn't liking anybody's pages and I was just putting mine up there. So I don't know if you'd want to do that, but you know, definitely Facebook groups, um, sharing organic content that'll be shared, uh, recipes, videos get seen really great. Um, you know, funny pictures. I had one that was pretty awesome. It was a, I'll actually show you real quick. Um, I did it the other day of this fitness one. It was pretty funny. And I do a lot of videos too of my workout so people know it. I do a recipe every single day. Um, oh, this one. The cardio is so much better when your active wear is on point. 
And I just saw that on Instagram. I was like, that is awesome because I want those shorts. <laughs> so, you know, and it's, you know, one of those people where, you know, 2,500 people reached it, where to me, that's a huge engagement post, especially organically. Um, and it's got 14 shares and, you know, 23 or something likes. But a lot of my posts too, you know, you want it to get organically shared and funny photos is the way to do it because that's where people are going to be like, heck yes, like that's so funny. I'm going to share it and it automatically links to your page. So that's another way to get more people to your page. Then you can message all those people that shared it and said, Hey, thanks for sharing my post. Isn't it hilarious? You know, I do that all the time when people share my stuff. Thanks for sharing my post. And then kind of lead into like another question or something about them. Um, especially if they share, I get a lot of people who share my ads and I'm like, Oh, thanks for sharing my ad or sharing my post about creating an income at home. Are you interested in learning more? You know, so always be messaging those people who share your stuff because those are the people that you want to keep around. Any other questions? I mean, come on, how awesome are those shorts? <laughs> Thank you for your tips. Um, I have a question on your form where mm -hmm. you have, are you currently a coach or working with a coach? Um, I have a form mm -hmm. online for my free group and I had two that said yes. So I emailed them and they said that they have a coach, but it's basically more of a, like a training coach. So you think it would be best if you, if we should like specify Beachbody coach or just leave it like that and then just take care of them as they go? I would probably just take care of them as you go. Um, with Beachbody specific programs like this, I mean, obviously if they have a coach, then yes. Um, and as you're emailing them to and messaging them like, hey, I'm sure your coach is running a group just like this, you know, um, they'll kind of respond. You'll get an idea too, if it's a, a legitimate like beach body coach or if it's like just some other, you know, personal trainer type coach, yeah. you know, you'll get an idea, but I've always done just, you know, do you currently have a coach and never really had too many people say yes. And most of the people who say yes are coaches. So yes, I was surprised, like, Dude, go I was surprised when I saw the, <laughs> um, the form. I was like, yes. So then I messaged her immediately i haven't received the other re, uh respond from the second one but i was just checking i was thinking of just putting beach body coach um but i'll just leave it like that and just message them separately well yeah you can absolutely put beach body coach and there's nothing wrong or right about it right. i'll see how it goes do you also do a blog or do you just do forms I do just forms. I have a website-ish that's in the making of being created, um, but I don't really do blogs just because I'm not a blogger. I don't like blogs. I don't go to blogs. I don't read blogs. So the blogging is not my thing. I'm like short, sweet, simple, boom, done. That's me. Like running out these thoughtful, long posts getting in touch with my emotions. That's not me. <laughs> like I'm like, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. It's done. Like, so a blog is just so unorganized for my brain too. It gives me like I don't, a website is great. A blog is just the organization of it and being able to read it and figure out where the heck am I going. Um, it drives me bonkers. So all of it, I just do by forms and I'm putting it into my fan page. Yeah, I was more of saying uh, a website, you know, like, you know, not that you have to write blogs, but that you could put all these mm -hmm. forms in a website instead of Oh yeah. in Google, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually went on Etsy and got somebody to create my blog for me and she's putting these applications into um into my website. Oh, so cool. 
done with it. <laughs> Actually, I just got her like last month. So she's still working on it and building my website up and really, you know, putting all my new coach training and all that good stuff in there and um, beefing it up before I really put it out. Um, but yeah, you can put these and formate them however you put them in there. I have no idea how you do it, but you can put it in there <laughs> somehow. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, thank you. Does anybody else have any questions? I just want to ask, um, I think I know the answer already, but I want to clarify for anyone that might not know. Uh, all of these things that you're using, the um, streak and sunrise, and then the Google Forms, they're all free to use? Yep, everything's free to use. I am very much of a use things that are free. And that way it's duplicatable as well within coaches. So Sunrise is free um, and Google Forms is all free. And Streak is free as well. Yeah, and I was playing with it while you were talking. The You have to click on that dot, dot, dot and do add-ons to get that notification, that form notification add-on. I have a quick question. The streak is that that's a separate app, that, or or is that part of Google, like Gmail? The form notifications. Yeah, is that that streak that you use? That I might have missed it. I just wanted to ask: Is that part of um, Gmail or? or yeah, it's a separate a, application. Yeah, it's a plugin. So if you go into like streak dot com, mm -hmm. um, you can plug it into your Google. Oh, okay. So that's what I have um, right for Gmail. Okay. And Kill Newsfeed is another one. If y'all use that one, that's amazing. Because what it does is it basically, hold on, let me move this little bar here. It kills your newsfeed so you don't get distracted by Facebook. It saves you so much time from scrolling. Let me tell you, I go scroll crazy. <laughs> so I have to have that on or else I'll be scrolling all day long. Yeah, I also have to turn off all those messages, those blinking messages at the bottom because mm -hmm. those are go off all day long. Yeah. Okay, I have one more quick question. I know it's late. Um, so when you say that you message people on your like page, do you message mm -hmm. them from your like page or do you go over and try to find them on their right? How do you message from the like page if they haven't messaged you? They have to be messaged from your personal page. So, okay. yeah, so I have to have two screens or like two different browsers open that way um, because you can't message people when you're seeing who all who likes your page. So you have to use your Facebook page as your fitness page on one and then pull up another browser with your personal mm -hmm. profile. So that way you can copy their, webs their profile address and put it to your personal profile and find them that way. And then you send them. Okay. It's a little pain of a butt, but you know, you could pay somebody in the Philippines to do it for $3 an hour. <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you. Great. Yep. Yeah, well, we're out of time, so thank you all uh, for attending, and uh, thank you, Alicia, for the great information. I know it's uh, a lot of information for uh, especially new coaches, and I'm sure everybody will have to watch it a couple times, and, um, you know, we can always message you or message, they can message me if they have questions, so. Absolutely, and just remember, you know, everything is, you know, you don't, there's no one right way to do it. There's a million different ways to build this business and a million different ways to be successful at it. So just, you know, take one little piece at a time, whether it's just building a form and creating a form and just working with that or just working with streak or, you know, just trying to figure out Facebook ads, you know, definitely pick one thing and, you know, master it and then move on to the next thing. And then you'll eventually you'll be like, yes, I got a system. <laughs> <laughs> great well thank you very much and uh we'll, we'll say good night thank you for your services thank you. as well thank you have a great night thank you thank you bye